uh, welcome and I would like to introduce you to the new area Nismo today. So today we are launching and relaunching the Nismo in Europe with the 40th anniversary of Nismo. So what you can see at the first glance is that this is the stealth grey colour coming from the Nissan GTR. What you can see at the first glance with the differences is firstly we've got the dignified front face so it has been expanded. We've got the Nismo logo on the air canard. The air canard promotes the airflow into these air curtains and then the wind goes through the wheel arches to really promote um, better aerodynamics and handling of the car. So the Arianism mode comes with bespoke wheels. These will be the 20 inch NK mud wheels. There's a specific Nismo logo on them. It, call, it comes in a whole black gloss finish. And you can see that the wheel is really open. This is quite important because it improves the brake cooling effect and uh, really uh, helps with aerodynamics as well. Moving on to the side profile of the vehicle, you can see the red accent line on the wing mirror as well as alongside the whole body of the car. And there's been some improvements on the side of the car to again improve airflow and downforce. So the body sill has been extended versus the standard vehicle. And there's an air blade in the front, an air strike at the bottom to continue promoting the wind flow from the wheel arches alongside the vehicle in a very smooth way. At the rear of the vehicle, we've got the rear ductile spoiler. This is coming from the 400Z GT4. Then coming to the center, we've got the Nismo logo, really nice uh, and clear. Again, continuing the red center line accent uh, around the vehicle. Then at the very bottom, we've got a twin diffuser promoting the airflow. We've got the Formula E inspired brake light um, that has the eighth shape. And then the whole bottom bumper has been expanded. So if you compare the airflow with the standard area, the standard area curves up a bit, whereas this one makes the airflow really flat. Coming inside, you can see at the first glance, this really is a Nismo. The whole interior has been customized and you can see this black and red theme all around. Starting at the door, you've got the red stitching and this is present everywhere across the center console, on your seat and also on the steering wheel. Another point you can notice is the red center mark and a black gloss finish. The steering wheel is a genuine uh, leather wrapped. Coming to the center, you've got the, another Nismo logo here, really nice and metal. The start button is in a red metal finish and you've got a red metal finish line at the center of the vehicle. Now coming a bit more to the uh, wider interior, we have the red Andon ambient lighting. You can notice that in the center of the vehicle and also on both doors. Finally, Coming onto the seats, the seats have embroidered Nissan logo, Nismo logo, and then uh, they are in uh, embroidered. The inserts are black suede with red uh, s square perforation. Coming onto the seats, you can also notice the red stitching on the sides. You can see the embroidered Nismo, Nismo logo in the center of the seat, and then the inserts are black suede with red center perforation. In terms of the performance, you can really see that this is a Nismo because it has been fine-tuned by our engineers. This car still comes with your usual modes of standard, eco and snow, but instead of sport, it has a Nismo mode. This has been fine-tuned by our engineers to improve in performance. For example, the acceleration is really smooth even at high speeds. Thanks to the improved grip of the tires, the shift of the motors have been changed. So this car is now rear biased with 60% of power coming from the rear and 40% with the front. So this was a quick visit stop tour of the new Nissan Aria Nismo. We are relaunching Nismo in Europe with the 40th anniversary of Nismo. There will be more details about pricing and technical specifications released later this year, so stay tuned.